Imagine if you are working in a different time zone to the rest of your team, so you often wake up to a bunch of their unanswered messages at the start of your day. Now, while you are asleep or away, your agent, grounded in the knowledge you give it, can answer specific questions from your team on your behalf, freeing you up. My team writes product specifications for Contoso Energy's solar panel arrays. In SharePoint, all I have to do is select the folders or individual files that I want this agent to focus on. Here, I have files that have already been uploaded. You can also upload new files where SharePoint will index those files for you in a few moments. I'll select all of these product specifications. On top of the screen, you can see the Create an Agent control. I'll click that. And with just one click, the agent is ready and grounded with all my selected files. And I can try it right from here. So I'll prompt it with, compare each solar panel array with details on the home range in square feet for the two types of materials offered. Add the average home square footage per array size and price ranges for each. And it gives me all the details across the files that I added as grounding information. So it's generated a response by panel array type, and home square footage. Let's say you spend a lot of time building written project plans. Each has a similar structure and tone, but details will change based on each project, related tasks, and other aspects. So I'm looking at another SharePoint site for project planning. There are two folders here. This one contains all the recent completed project plans like you saw before. Now I'll show you what's in the other folder. It contains project intake forms. I'll also open up one of these intake forms, and you'll see that it just lists key details and differentiators for one specific project. So this time, I'm just going to select the Completed Installation Project Plans folder as the baseline knowledge for my agent. Then I just need to click Create an Agent, and if I wanted to, I could start using it right away by hitting Try It. But in this case, I want to add a few more details to make it easy for anyone on my team to start using it, so I'm going to choose Edit. Here, I can choose to rename. I'll do that. Uh, there's also an option here to brand it with a different icon image, but I'll skip that for now and give it a more detailed description here. In the Sources tab, I can see that my SharePoint folder is already selected, and I can choose to add another SharePoint site or more libraries, folders, or files. Now I'll move to the Behavior tab. Here, I can add a message to help others understand how best to use this agent. And below that, I can add starter prompts. These are recommendations that you can make for anyone to quickly get value from what your agent can do. I'm going to add one here for creating a new project plan based on the defined knowledge from our folder of completed project plans. It also has an instruction to reference a specific project intake form using the paperclip or forward slash. I can add two more starter prompts, but in this case, I'll remove the other two by deleting the text. That way, my agent is focused on this one task. Below that are the instructions for the agent. Here, it's best to be very specific about your expectations for what it should do. I'm going to paste in a command to output content very close to our completed project plans. I can test it from here, but I'll hit Save instead so I can use it full screen from our SharePoint site. This agent file is my new agent, and I'll open it. And I'm going to use the starter prompt that I configured earlier. I'll use this paperclip button to attach the project intake form that I just opened with the new details and submit my prompt. And you'll see the output as it's getting generated is following the structure of the completed project document and adding the details from the project intake form that I referenced in my prompt. Now I have a completed project plan like I wanted. Again, I didn't need to move files from their original location, and everything remained within my compliance boundary in Microsoft 365. From here, I can copy the output and put it into Word or an email and make any additional edits. I'm going to use Share and Copy Link to add this to my clipboard. Now, I'll move over to Microsoft Teams in a group chat. Note that this also works in meeting chats. So I'll paste in the link and send it to the group. There it is. I'll confirm that I want to add it to this chat. And from here, I can just at mention my agent to work with it like a team member in this chat. This time, instead of asking it to generate a project plan, I'll prompt it for details about the completed project plans in the Knowledge Source folder. I'll prompt the agent with which project plans have been created for locations in Sunnyvale. And I can see that four of them are completed for that location. 
Now I'll prompt it, how many weeks does it take to run the full project for an A400 solar panel array? And it gives me a detailed breakdown of the project phases. Others in this chat can ask follow-up questions, like you're seeing now, whether smaller homes take less time. And there's another detailed response. You can use these files and click on them to open your agents. And the files themselves contain everything that you configured in your agent. Here's the agent file I built before, and this is the schema. And you'll see the starter prompts here, the agent name, the description that was added, and the instructions. And below that are the selected grounding data sources. Additionally, these files use the same labeling and policy protections as other files stored in SharePoint and OneDrive too. 